This is the Malsi X-Tape 1 Digital Laser Tape Pro. It's a combination of physical analog tape measure, a digital tape measure, and a laser distance meter all wrapped into the one integrated package. And there's also a companion app which takes the capabilities of the X-Tape 1 to another level again. This review won't cover every use case and feature in detail because we'd be here for hours. But to get a good idea of just how much this device is capable of, we'll look at it in roughly two halves. And there's a lot to get through, so check the chapter markers if you want to skip ahead. Firstly, we'll look at basic measuring using the digital tape, and then we'll look at the laser distance meter functions. In some cases, they overlap, and that's why this really is a, uh, well, it's a hybrid measuring device. But if you like using a physical tape, like this one here, and the functions of a laser meter also appeal to you, then you'll love the X-Tape 1. And a word of disclosure, Marcy sent me this unit to review. No money exchanged hands, but I do get to keep it, and that's awesome because, well, the more I use it, the more I like it. And I say that because the X-Tape 1 actually takes some getting used to. But when you learn how it works, the precision and features that it offers well, are quite incredible. The X-Tape 1 is nicely packaged. It comes with a handy carry case, like this one right here. It comes with a manual and, once again, a quality braided USB charging cable. If you like attention to detail, then you'll appreciate the charging cable. Battery runtime is claimed at 7 hours from the 1500 mAh battery, but I think I was getting less than that in real-world use. The build quality feels very good. It's made with a, uh, a soft-touch plastic, which has a slightly rubbery feel to it, and it feels very nice to hold in your hands. The screen is super bright with very high resolution. This is a standout feature of this device and probably the biggest source of battery drain. The text is crisp and easy to read and you navigate through the options using these buttons. No touch screen here, but I guess that's okay because the screen is quite small. But having said that, it's definitely big enough. This is where you can change things like units, the display mode of measurements, whether you're using the X-Tape 1 right or left-handed, cool feature, the light or dark color scheme, and of course, calibration. Two other very useful features include the quarter inch tripod mount, and then this flattened back for butting it up against surfaces for laser distance measurements. It also comes apart so that you can use the laser distance meter separately or replace the tape if it gets damaged. Last but not least, there's a belt clip. The physical tape in the X-Tape 1 is three and a half meters or 12 feet. And yes, you can of course just simply pull the tape out and use it without even powering it on. And the tape itself really deserves a mention. It's wide, it feels strong with a smooth matte finish, the hook on the end is huge, and easily catches onto the edges that you're measuring from. It's also magnetized, and the magnet is strong enough to allow you to pull the device away from the hook without dislodging it. But when you power up and then extend the tape, the green lateral laser switches on to guide your measurement. And this is where it takes a bit of getting used to. When you use a normal tape measure, you'd pull your tape out just past the point where you're measuring and then take a reading. But with the X-Tape 1, the point where it measures is actually under the display. You can't see the edge that you're measuring to, even though you can see the measurement on the screen. And at first, that's a bit weird. It's actually measuring to this green line. And this is where we need to dive into the settings to make our first calibration. The green laser line has a thickness or width and you can choose to measure from the front, the center, or the back of this laser line. And after using the X-Tape 1 for a while, I decided that measuring from the back seemed to be the most intuitive for me. And this is where you can see that the X-Tape 1 can be incredibly precise, particularly if you need to take a longer measurement and then be sure that you're holding the tape perpendicular to the point where you're measuring from. Using the laser line, you can see if you're pulling more to one side. Now look, we are talking about making tiny adjustments here, but that's what the X-Tape 1 is all about. Precision. With each measurement, you can then press the measure button either on the top or the side, and the X-Tape 1 will store that measurement. When you retract the tape, the measurement resets and the laser turns off. To see recent measurements, there's also a display setting which shows historical data on the screen. You can then also delete these out using the power button. If you need to do incremental measurements, you can zero the measurement with the zero button and then just keep measuring. The display auto updates with each measurement. The plus button on the other side allows you to add and subtract measurements, and here you can easily add or subtract measurements on the go. Now, with all this digital measuring going on, you're probably wondering if it's accurate. Well, to test that, I'm using this piece of plywood, which I know has been cut to 854 by 435 millimeters. And I've used this same piece in the previous test on the Milesi D9 Pro. Taking multiple measurements across this piece, I found that the digital tape measurement was accurate right out of the box. Sometimes the measurement would change by one millimeter, 
but I realized that the difference had more to do with my ability to hold the laser steady or align the laser to the actual point that I was measuring to. But with practice, this soon became easier and the accuracy was spot on. Then I tested the laser distance meter. Here I found that both measurements were out, but only by one millimeter. So I used the calibration function to reduce the final measurement by one millimeter. And after that, I found that the digital tape and the laser distance measurements were accurate, absolutely accurate. Well, at least as accurate as I could see with my eyes. Before we get onto the laser distance meter functions, there's one other very cool thing about this green laser. You can use this together with the onboard digital level to project a laser onto a wall. This number here and the slider indicate the live angle. And you can use these to set up the X-Tape 1 on a tripod and ensure that the projected laser is level. But you can also use the tilt angle function, which gives you a larger readout to work with. Using a tripod, you can level the X-Tape 1 to zero degrees and then project a level line. From there, you can also adjust the tilt and set the angle to, well, whatever you need it to be. I'd say it's probably not as good as a dedicated laser level, but you can get a good laser projection without needing to be right up against the wall. And that means you can set it back for doing things like hanging pictures or aligning cabinets or adjusting cabinet doors. To have this feature built in without needing a dedicated laser level is very handy. And you're probably wondering, well, is that part accurate? Well, when I tested it with my spirit level, I found them to match perfectly. So I'd say that's about as level as you could expect it to be. The included angle feature is similar. Here you can set a reference point for zero degrees and then measure a live angle using the green laser, a little bit like using a protractor. I'm using this MFT table to test this angle. It works accurately when moving directly to a desired angle, but it can be a little bit variable when making minor adjustments. But that's probably because it's measuring to one decimal point and in this example, I'm comparing it to a physical analog measuring tool. And I don't think it's a limitation of the laser. It's more about how accurately I can hold the device when it's taking measurements. And of course, whether I can keep the device in the one place to keep the reference point the same. But so far, this green laser line is shaping up to be a favorite feature of mine. From the function button, we can access the laser distance meter features of the X-Tape 1. The single length function is simple and works just the way you would expect it to. Keep in mind that you can still change the laser reference point from either the back of the device or the front of the device. Continuous measurement gives you a constantly updating reading as you move closer to or further away from an object, and this can be very useful. The area function lets you quickly take measurements of a room or space and get a calculation of the total area. Volume calculations are very similar to area. You just need to take a third measurement and the X-Tape 1 gives you the volume of the space. Now, I imagine this might be useful for larger areas, like storage spaces or warehouses, since the range is stated at 330 feet or about 100 meters. Indirect length, indirect height, and point to point all work off a similar principle. These measurements become useful when you can't get physically close to the object or structure that you're trying to measure, or when there's something blocking the path of the measurement. The accuracy here is very good, but it's dependent on your ability to hold the device steady and keep the reference point the same. It's best to use a tripod for these kinds of measurements, and keep in mind that when you lift the device to take a measurement or rotate it on a tripod, the results will vary. Indirect length is useful for when there is an obstruction in the path of the measurement. I can simulate this on my workbench. Now, I've done this test before with the D9 Pro laser distance meter. The distance to the timber is 2000, as measured by the tape. If I place something in the path of the laser, I can use the indirect length to calculate the horizontal distance, as well as the included angle and the length of the hypotenuse. And again, you want to be mindful of what you're expecting here. The laser will give you an exact measurement, and using a tripod or resting it on a surface will give you better results. Just know that when you tilt the device, you're changing the reference point at the back by a few millimeters. You can see in this example that I got a result of 1,999, which is very close at just one millimeter short. But like I said, as soon as you lift the back of the device, you're changing the rear reference point of where the laser will measure from. Now look, I'm confident that the laser is accurate, but shifting it around like this can cause variations in the result. Indirect height allows me to measure the distance between two points, such as the height of this door frame, without actually being close to it. In the manual, there are pictures of it being used to measure a building height. And again, you wanna be very careful about what sort of accuracy you're expecting. 
An important thing to remember here is that the accuracy depends very much on my ability to hold the device steady. There you go, I've said it again. And to keep the point of rotation steady as I point the laser at the bottom and then at the top. The X-Tape 1 will give an accurate measurement, but remember that it requires some effort to keep the dot of the laser still when taking the measurement. Now I tried using the tripod mount to take this measurement. The door frame is 1,980 millimeters. I was never really able to get close to that measurement. And it's not surprising when you look at how difficult it is to keep the laser still and then keep the reference point consistent. Now, I think this is where the X-Tape 1 could do with a second tripod mount on the underside and then a corresponding selectable laser reference point. I'll explain further with point to point. You can see here that the laser isn't a tiny point like the end of a sharpened pencil. It's actually a few millimeters wide. And when you combine that with not keeping it still, the measurement is unlikely to be accurate. In this example, you'll notice that I've got the X-Tape 1 on a bench. And I've used this piece of MDF in a previous test with the D9 Pro, where I was measuring between these saw cut lines. The measured distance is 433 millimeters. Having the laser on the bench solves the problem of keeping it still. But the problem of the reference point is still there when I rotate the device. Now, don't get me wrong, it does work, and you can see that I can actually achieve the correct measurement. But it's not quite as simple as a point and click. You need to be realistic about how accurately you can point a laser to a distant location to get an accurate reading. Line split is a feature that could be very useful for you, and this is one of my favorites. This is where you can specify the number of divisions or segments over a given distance, and then let the X-Tape 1 guide you to where those divisions are. Let's take this piece of pine as a reference. We'll divide this piece into five equal segments. The full length measures in at 1525. That means that each section will measure 305 millimeters. And you can see I've drawn out some segments at 305 mil spacings, giving me five segments over the 1525 millimeter distance. As I pull out the tape to measure along the piece of timber, the display gives me a readout of the direction towards the next division point or segment. And you'll notice that it also reminds me of what the split distance actually is and which segment I'm currently moving towards. It's very clever. This would be very useful for marking out divisions on larger pieces of material like full sheets of plywood or maybe longer lengths of construction timber. There could be many examples of where this feature could be very useful. This is a good example of how the hybrid combination of a physical tape and digital tape can be so useful. Lastly, I'd like to show you the app integration. To find the app, simply scan the QR code in the manual, download the app, enable the link feature, and pair the device. The first thing you'll see is a list of historical measurements which sync to the device. But it's the floor plan icon that I want to talk about. You can import an image to superimpose measurements onto, or you can create a hand-drawn plan and then sync your measurements to it all in real time. I'll keep this example quite simple, but you'll see how it works. I can use the tools to draw a basic four-sided shape, like a room. I won't be too bothered about getting the drawing too correct because the laser will change the proportions depending on the measurements it takes. Then select a segment on your drawing and take a measurement. I'll just use these two sound blankets here as my walls. You can see that as I select the different segments on the drawing and then take a measurement, the measured distance is applied to the drawing and the proportions change accordingly. This is very handy. You can then share this drawing as a dimensioned image from your phone to your computer or wherever you need to send it. Another cool feature is that you can edit the dimension on your drawing if you think you've made a mistake. Just tap on the dimension in the drawing and then take another measurement and the new measurement is substituted straight into the drawing. I think this is actually a really great implementation of a companion phone app with a device like this. If you need to take measurements and share them with people on the fly, then you will love this feature. Now, there are so many use cases for the X-Tape 1 and I'm sure that I've just scratched the surface. But should you buy the X-Tape 1? Well, if you're the sort of person who still really likes to use a physical tape, but you're also pretty keen to have the laser functions, then I think you'll get a lot of value out of the X-Tape 1. The build quality is great. The screen is awesome and it's packed full of features. Like with some of their other devices though, I wouldn't want to drop it. I don't think that's gonna work out so well, but they do have other devices for outdoor use, which are a bit more rugged. And I encourage you to check out the Milesy website for more details. I'd like to thank Marcy for giving me the opportunity to review the X-Tape 1. Like I said, it takes some getting used to, but the more I use it, the more I like it, particularly since I'm the kind of person 
who always needs to have a physical tape lying around. If you are interested in making a purchase, there are some links in the description to find out more. If you found this review helpful, then please give it a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing. There's been a lot to get through in this review. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. There's one more feature I really wanted. A lightsaber.